we just need to retrace our steps and find out what happened, and we need to make sure it never happens again. We not know the Aurora City Council moving forward with a proposal to investigate which nonprofits the state and city of Denver worked with to relocate immigrants to Aurora. Now, the city of Denver says it did not send any immigrants to Aurora. This proposal passed council six to two. And council members say the purpose is to learn how many people were sent to Aurora, what promises, if any, were made to them, and whether background checks were conducted. Whether it's the city, county, of Denver, whether it's the state, should not um, impact a local jurisdiction without even inf without at least informing that jurisdiction what they're doing. They did not. They did not, and they use a nonprofits as a mechanism to do this. Now, the two members who voted against it say this is going to put vulnerable groups at risk. It's going to target and scapegoat migrants and migrants serving organization. Um, instead of looking at the real issue that we're facing as a right, which includes some places that folks end up moving into that have really horrendous conditions. And with apartment buildings that have been in the spotlight, have had horrendous conditions for an extended period of time. Now, we also asked the governor's office if the state sent immigrants to Aurora. We have not gotten a response to that question. Denver 7's Christian Lopez sat down with one of those nonprofits helping the immigrant community. They say they believe in the work they are doing and it should not be disparaged. For the past year, the All Souls Resource Center in Denver has been a saving grace for immigrants, providing them with food and other resources. But now they say their good deed is being painted in a bad light. We started our organization last year when the Zunai encampment was exploding. Candace Marley's mission all began when she saw families and children sleeping on the streets of Denver. Our role started really just as providing basic needs, heat, propane, blankets, tents all the things you would need to survive outside. Since then, it's evolved into this resource center on Welton Street. Provide food. We provide clothing, household items, and baby goods. Monday night, Marley said she was disappointed to hear that Aurora City Council passed a resolution to investigate nonprofits that have received aid to help immigrants. It's going to impact us in a big way. We're going to pull back from any state and city grants. The idea came from Aurora City Council member Danielle Jarinski, who says she believes Governor Polis and Mayor Johnston, quote, conspired to sneak thousands of migrants into Aurora with the help of nonprofits, which then put the safety of citizens at risk. It's shocking because we felt we were had a good relationship with Aurora City Council and that that wasn't their viewpoint, especially when it came to children and families. Jarinski was not available for an interview Tuesday and said she was traveling, but in a statement said Cora requests will help Aurora figure out the answers to their questions about numbers and background checks. In a statement from the city of Denver, they said in part, Denver took what many saw as a crisis and turned it into opportunity by partnering with nonprofits to help thousands of newcomers find stability and contribute to the economy. We've worked with them. We've seen them. They're families who are just here for a better life. You know, that was my family two generations ago. So we as citizens should be supporting that and helping people build their American dream. And All Souls says that none of this is going to deter them from their mission of helping immigrants here in the Denver Metro. They're even having a big drive through donation event on Wednesday from 9.30 a.m. to 12 30 p.m. right here at their center on Welton Street. Reporting in Denver, I'm Christian Lopez, Denver 7. Meanwhile, Denver Mayor Mike Johnston is traveling to Mexico City today to discuss immigration and the issues facing the city. He and more than 500 mayors and policymakers from across the globe will attend a summit there. Tomorrow, he's set to meet with the mayor of Guatemala City to talk about the immigration crisis and possible solutions.